Good morning. Um, welcome back to my channel. My name is Helen. If you don't already know me, and I'm doing the Gymshark 66 challenge. It is Tuesday, the 9th or 10th of January. Who knows? And I have I have severe hamstring slash calf kind of doms kind of pain who knows so um at some point today i will be doing some rolling or mobility and or filming my upper body workout so um six in the morning i'm going to work and i'll see you in between clients for food It's like 7.40 and my first meal of the day is a latte with two sweeteners in it and um, one piece of chicken thigh cut up, two pieces of broccoli cut up, sweet potato chunks, spinach, peppers and mushrooms. I'm really hungry. So, so I genuinely couldn't believe how tight slash painful my calves and hamstrings were so I took at least an hour stretching and foam rolling so I put on the screen the actual amount of time each of these video clips were um it was really good I was just chatting to my friend Georgie who's in the background and that made time go so much quicker because I know the mobility stretching stuff is not the fun part anywho find a partner and you'll be grand so I did my downward dog for blinking ages I was trying to pull my hips up towards the ceiling as, as I was pushing my heels down to the floor so that meant that I was having that two-way stretch here in this kneeling stretch you're just doing one leg at a time pushing your heel down and your knee forwards so you're pulling the knee away from the ankle then most people have done this standing car stretch before again you want your heel to be really really pushed down then have a little bit of a play with squeezing your bum and tilting your hips and pulling your body away from that foot on the floor. When you do your forward fold, to make it kind of similar to your downward dog, you want to pull and tilt your tailbone up towards the ceiling as much as you can. So pulling your hips up and away from your ankles and from your feet. And then I was playing with rocking forwards, rocking backwards, putting more weight into my toes and more weight into my heels because that changed the way that I felt the stretch. Again, that was really, really sped up. That was at least three minutes. For this single leg fold over, you want to tilt your hips back first and stay as square as you can. I'm keeping my feet in parallel, so trying to not let my back foot turn out. So be mindful of that. You'll feel it a lot more when you go into it mindfully. So really tilt from the hips and then fold the rest of your upper body over. Again, you can play with pulling your ribcage forwards and then letting it fold. But as long as your heels are really planted down and your hips are pushing up and backwards, then you should feel this. From there, I added on a twist um, for the similar reason that changing the orientation of your body, not the orientation, but changing your positions will just pull um, your muscles in a slightly different way. Everything is connected, honestly, so moving your upper body will change the way you feel that stretch in your lower body, believe it or not. And also in this one, actually, I have taken my feet a little bit wider than hip width apart. Moving on to a Cossack squat, so which is almost like a really low static side lunge, if you like. Um, I'm trying to keep my foot that's on the floor flat and then again playing with my positions a lot so leaning a little further forward or a little bit further back rotating the leg that's straight towards the floor and away from the floor and pointing and flexing the foot just make sure you feel it as much as you can so this um like it's your second position or your straddle depending on where you're tight you'll feel this um differently for me i find that I feel this on my adductors, my inner thighs, but quite low, quite towards my knees. Um, that is sort of my tightest part. You might find that you feel this higher up towards the groin. Um, 
but again have a play with flexing your feet which will lengthen your calves a little bit more and pointing them which is, tends to be a lot more comfortable in that position and then into a bent knee adductor stretch and I was basically massaging my calves while I was there because I was like it is time to get the foam roller out I was in so much pain it was horrendous Anywho, so another forward fold, but seated, you just feel this a little bit different. Try and sit as upright as possible and push your butt backwards. So again, you're pulling your pelvis away from your legs and then flexing your feet is again, pulling that down that whole posterior chain. Um, for the single leg lying hamstring stretch, I found that if I slightly bent my knee, I could get deeper into my actual hamstring. When I have my knee straight, I feel the stretch at the back of the knee, almost where the calf inserts at the back of the knee. So I was just being mindful that if you're supposed to feel it in your hamstrings, make sure you feel it in your hamstrings. If you feel it somewhere else, um, then I'm, to be honest, not sure what muscle that is. That's a little bit deeper than a personal trainer's knowledge. Um, so just be really mindful that you're feeling it where you're supposed to feel it. When I flex my foot, it goes up into my calf, which I enjoy. Moving on to the really fun part, the foam rolling. Um, so you can do this quickly. Um, so if you wanted to just do your whole calf, roll it five times, find the point that hurts and hold it. And because my calves were insanely tight, I wanted to do a really good job. So I did just above my ankle so pretty much my soleus not the bulky um, round part of the calf and spent a really long time on my lower part on each side after um rolling it sort of on the inside the outside and the back then i would find a spot that i can feel and kind of hold there and wiggle so lifting your bum off the floor will put more weight onto it if you need to putting that leg on top i really didn't need any extra weight i was just honestly dying it was enough and then from there I moved on to, or I suppose almost like the middle part of the calf, so moving on to that more um, rounded, bulky part away from the soleus. And I, I kind of did a similar thing, I started with rolling, but I find that the outer side of my calves are just so tight. So rather than doing long rolls, I just found a bit that was really tight. Tried to do that as much as possible before I then moved on to another part of my calf. Have a play with where your weight is. So I found it when I almost rocked onto my hip, I can get in really well. And then rather than resting my other leg on top, I was pushing down with my hand to help me. You want it to feel like a sports massage. So it's it's supposed to hurt. Um, you want to move very slowly and you want to breathe through it. So. If you find you really, really can't relax, it's unlikely that that muscle is going to relax and release. So even though it hurts, you kind of have to give in to the pain. Um, and one um, visual that I use is to imagine your muscle like spreading out and almost, um, this is going to sound so weird, almost like inhaling the foam roller. So let your muscles spread around the foam roller. Um, that just means rather than the foam roller being sort of on the outside, it's going to melt and actually get deeper into the muscle. That is so weird. Anyway, for my hamstring, which I find really hard to do with a foam roller, I popped myself up on yoga blocks and put a small dumbbell on the one further away from me and then used that to get pretty deep into my hamstrings. This really hurt. This is all sped up. This is slow and I was painful and I think this whole like um, one video clip was an hour and 12 minutes or something ridiculous like that. So if you've got a part of your body that you know gets really tight, really tight, just find a time in your diary and spend a really long time releasing it because I promise it helps. So it's quarter past three and I don't know if you can tell, sorry about the noise, but it is so blinking dark. It's three... 15 like shouldn't be dark yet I'm in a kind of good mood I think um so my 6 p.m client has moved to Saturday which means 
instead of finishing at seven, I finished at three. Like if he was coming in, I would have been, I would have had three hours um, kind of spare. Like I had my laptop with me, but I always just end up talking to other people. I'm not productive. So yeah, so that's why I'm in a good mood because I'm going home. However, sometimes when I go home, I don't end up being productive. Like if I'm tired, I end up having a nap, which is never a power nap. Yeah, so even though I throw on and stretched for like an hour, my calves slash hamstrings are still like um, worst doms ever. Calves, who knew? Probably people that train calves are obviously, oh God, so bad. And um, yay, I'm going home. Um, and yay, basically just yay. My healthiest choice, but just look, oh yeah. And I'm gonna watch some YouTube and then get in the shower. I can't really remember what I last filmed, but I, oh yes, yeah, cereal. I, I kind of had three bowls of cereal because that's really bad. Anyway, um, pretend that that didn't happen. I, I've just finished editing a video. It is my glute workout video and I'm starting to upload that and I can't decide if I want like a real dinner or if I'm still full from the cereal. Uh, and I um, got cramp in my calf. What the hell, I've stretched it so much. I can't believe it. Um, anywho, this is again my unicorn onesie. Oh, and now I have unicorn slippers on, wait. Um, they're not slippers, they're socks, how cute are they? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Very good. Ashley's dinner. Helen's dinner. So we realised that we have no vegetables and we've got no chicken left. So we've cooked sausages and sweet potato fries. And then I saw the mini tin of beans and I was like, I'm having that as well. So not the healthiest day ever. It started with such good intentions with those um, food prepped meals that I took to work. And then... Um, the cereal wasn't great and this isn't great but oh well um, I really hope that that um, sort of calf and hamstring mobility is really helpful um, I'll make sure that it's a very detailed voiceover for you um, and if you have any questions or any video suggestions then please let me know and I'll see you in my next video um, stay happy and healthy 